Grafted Branch Homestead. Grafted Branch Homestead features Matt and his family as they prepare the next steps from their urban New Mexico backyard homestead to a more self-sustaining homestead on a bigger place. And good morning, everyone else. Matt here at Grafted Branch Homestead. So just a quick little peek. I had something I want to show this morning. So we've been moving the little baby chickens from the area behind the quail shack which was Nikki's area, to catch anyone up. She has been, um, she's been kicked out of the flock. No one likes her. We've tried to integrate her many, many times, and we'll continue to do so, but they just do not like her. So I've actually tried to integrate her with the baby birds as well, and uh, they beat her up. If you think an urban homestead is impossible, they're also doing it in the desert. Uh, 55 gallons seems like a lot, but that will go a lot faster than you think. If you're using, especially if you're using it for cooking, uh, cleaning, all the other uses. If you do break that seal and use it, then you need to put some more, uh, more in there. One thing you'll learn very quickly on Grafted Branch Homestead is they love their DIYs. So the next step is we're going to put some of the electronics on That thing looks like it'll this. eat their quill before they do. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and let the chickens out of their coop here and uh, let them pick through the compost pile. They don't just like quail for me. There is though. a jumbo quail egg. There's a Rhode Island red chicken egg. And here is a Orpington buff chicken egg. And I'm going to put a, a regular quail egg next to it just for size. Alongside their many yard birds, Grafted Branch Homestead also keeps a wonderful backyard garden. Matt's live streams show how doable desert homesteading really is, and there are a wide range of topics. If anyone has any questions or other questions um, or anything you'd like to say this morning, I can address that. So if you want to see an urban homestead in the desert, well or you want to see a plethora um, of homestead DIY that projects that just might work on your property, you're going to love Grafted Branch Homestead. Savor life. Sometimes to find the flavor of life is to try lots of flavor or doing things outside the box. There are lots of food tips on savor life. Cooking, food storage, food growing, <laughs> food prep. Oh, and wine. They love making wine. But not that way. I wanted to emphasize that the first thing we did was to sanitize our area and implements so that we had a clean, sterilized environment to make wine. You want to make sure not to have even one molecule of vinegar near your area because it can turn your wine into vinegar, and you don't want that. Now it's time to put the airlock in. At this point, anything that touches your wine must be sanitized or it may ruin the whole batch. They have some pretty savory tips and hacks for other things, too. If you're going to enjoy life to the fullest, eventually you'll have to maintain it. A long time, they look like little aliens. They're really trippy little bugs, but... Just hatched. They just hatched. Gotta let them out so they don't all start eat eating each other. Here is Richard putting the praying mantis on the hops. We like to come up with the most natural solutions to things that come up in the garden. It's really big. Here I have been doing some decluttering my home. I don't know if you follow me over on Instagram, but I've been talking about it, how I've been doing 15 minutes a day of decluttering in my home. It's easier to save our life if it's not out of control, right? But you don't have to homestead to enjoy your surroundings. A lot of their videos can be just as helpful in a studio apartment flat. Don't believe me? Check out Save Our Life and find out for yourself. Scale Speedworks. Mike's got quite the scale model kit Welcome collection. Welcome to Scale Speedworks. My name's Mike. The Plymouth Horizon TC3. And I did not buy this back in the day. I bought this maybe uh, two or three years ago. The rims that are included in this kit, they fit these tires perfectly. He is usually one project at a time guy, but he sometimes moonlights if the paint needs to dry. There's something about Mike I'm not sure he regrets, but I also know it's not one of his secrets. <laughs> I have a history of not finishing projects. Scale Speedworks shows shortcuts on the map, and every now and then he deserves that. I don't know. Anyway, 
It's my kit. From group builds and challenges to... It's always such a pain to go on vacation. Well, Mike, vacations do the suck. The more you guys inspire me, the more I get excited about this truck. Mike loves scale modeling, but he'll take an occasional rest. Just like everything else in my house, it's still a work in progress. Scale Speedworks builds models, though they don't always get done. But add his channel to your list anyway, because I'm all out of puns. Urban Backyard Desert Homesteading. Enjoying life while preparing for food, farm, and the future. The scale modeler who enjoys the journey too much to ever let it end. <laughs> Are these your people?